What's going on, Williamson County students? My name is Mr. Daniel Foshi, and I'm a student support services teacher at Jordan Elementary School. I want to start off by sending a special shout out to the fifth graders at Jordan Elementary. I miss you guys, and I hope you're enjoying this time with your family. Today, we're going to do a quick review of one of our quarter one math standards, order of operations. We use order of operations when we are solving numerical expressions that have more than one operation in them. Sometimes we might see symbols like exponents or parentheses, and we need to know how to address those in order to arrive at the appropriate solution. So when we look at the structure and when we analyze these expressions, we must follow a specific order in order to solve correctly. The first thing we have to analyze for is parentheses. If we see any parentheses, we must solve whatever is inside of them first. Once we've addressed the parentheses, we move to exponents. If you see exponents in the expression, you must solve them next. Once you've addressed your parentheses and your exponents, you look for multiplication and division. If multiplication is the only one of the two that you see, you go ahead and multiply. If you see division and only division, we go ahead and divide. But if you see multiplication and division, we do whichever comes first in the expression from left to right. Once we've addressed the parentheses and the exponents and multiplication and division, we're left with addition and subtraction. And the same process applies here. If we just have addition, we just add. If we just have subtraction, we just subtract. But if you have both, we do whichever operation comes first from left to right in the problem. So I'm gonna do a quick model of an example, and then I'm gonna give you a fun activity you can do with your family at home. So I have 12 times four plus two minus seven. And I remember that parentheses is my first uh, analysis that I need to make. And I do see parentheses here. So 12 times four is what I must do first. 12 times four is 48. I'm going to bring the rest of the expression down, 48 plus 2 minus 7. I don't have any parentheses anymore. I don't have any exponents, and I don't see any multiplication or division, but I do see addition and subtraction, and, and in this case, I have both of them. So I'm going to do whichever one comes first from left to right. So in this case, it is addition. 48 plus 2 is 50. I'm going to bring the rest of the expression down again, 50 minus 7 is all that I'm left with, and 50 minus 7 is 43. So the solution to this expression after following the order of operations is 43. With your family, I want you to try something fun. I want you to use your order of operations knowledge to write as many equations as you can that equal 12. So I've set up an example here, 5 plus 3 in parentheses times 3 minus 12. And when you follow order of, order of operations, you will get 12. For this example. Once you've created as many as you can think of for 12, sit down with your brother or sister or your mom or dad and think of another number. It could be a three-digit number. It could be a four-digit number. Really challenge yourself to see if you can use order of operations to create as many equations as you can. Thanks, and I hope you guys have a great week.